Hello the there, neighbor Reno. Gonna keep this one short, sweet, and to the point. So, first things first, Beat Saber Origin coming to Steam VR later this month as a launch title for the Qu Oculus Quest. Beat Saber Origin was in is intended to be more of the baseline for what Beat Saber was was created as. It's like version 0.0.1 it's basically to show you exactly how far the game has come over the last year or so since it originally launched it's coming to steam vr it's going to be compatible with any of those systems and you can find the download link in the description below Next up, we just have a quick list of all of the games that you only have to buy once for all of your Oculus systems. Whether, you, whether you're purely going for the Quest, or you want to expand from the Rift to the Quest, or vice versa, or whatever. All of these games, you only have to buy once across your Oculus systems. Here they are. First up, we have Angry Birds VR, Apex Construct, Dan Central VR, Dead and Buried, Dead and Buried 2, 11, Table Tennis in VR, Face Your Fears 2, I Expect You to Die, Journey of the Gods, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, Orbis VR, Reward, Racket NX, Robo Recall, Shadow Point, Space Pirate Trainer, Sports Scramble, The Climb, and Ultra Wings. All of these you can will be available on the Oculus Store. You should be able to find them on the Steam VR Store. And as I said, all of these are compatible with both the Rift S, the Rift, and the Quest. And you only have to buy them once to share them across all of your systems. Are you worried at all about all of your save data that's being put on your PC well, good news! The Oculus Rift Store is in fact implementing cloud saves. In, in the event you don't already know what cloud saves are, you probably do, but cloud saves save a, co a copy of all of your save data on an external server. This is in fact costly for the developer, but it's directly up to them. Oculus is supporting this. However, it is directly up to the developer themselves to, to determine whether this will be implemented on each individual game. That being said, the, this is only confirmed for the Rift and the Rift S. There is no known confirmation yet for the Quest. We will, in fact, be keeping an ear out for that when it launches here on the 21st. And listen here for when that news does come out so the final story of the night is all about how facebook plans on preemptively dealing with bullying in their virtual reality platforms as i mentioned yesterday they are working on full body rendering and holograms so one one of the biggest things that they talked about at the f8 conference the other day was all about rendering each person invisible in such a way that you don't actually come in contact with the other and on top of that you're able to mute another person by doing double thumbs down emotes and well you're able to remove their interactions from you in the event that you feel that they are interacting negatively or that you don't want them around It's a lot to take in, I know, but they are in fact trying to deal with all of that before it becomes a major issue. All of that, I think, is a good place to end the night. If you liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.